Hi everyone, we're going to talk about force vectors. Um, these are going to be word problems. We're going to have two that just deal with uh, force vectors, and then we're going to have two that we have to find the direction and magnitude of the resultant force. And that means we're just going to add the two forces together. And we're going to use this formula um, that we used in the previous video. And so I have the word problems already worked out. A child pulls a wagon with a force of 40 pounds. That probably means the child weighs 40 pounds. The handle of the wagon makes an angle of 30 degrees with the ground, and we just need to express the force vector. So basically all it is is the force vector equals 30, I'm sorry, 40, 40 pounds. So this is your, your magnitude times your direction, which is cosine of 30 I, 30 degrees, plus sine of 30 degrees J, which equals 40 times square root of 3 over 2 I, plus 1 half J. And when you simplify that, we're going to get a 20 square root of 3i plus 20j or if you want we could just pull out the 20 and that's going to be square root of 3i plus j okay the next word problem we have is uh, similar a man pushes a wheelbarrow up an incline of 20 degrees with the force of 100 pounds and we're going to basically do the same thing. So force equals 100 times cosine of 20 I plus sine of 20 degrees J. Should be that. And uh, that's when you have to use a calculator because we don't know what the 20 degrees is. So you get 100 times 0 0.9397i plus, oops, sorry, um, 0 plus 3420j. And when you multiply that out, you're just moving the decimals over um, two places, and we get 93.97i plus 34.20j. Um, and that's all of that. Now, the next two, we're going to have to find the resultant force. So we have two forces of magnitude, 40 newtons and 60 newtons, acting on an object at angles 30 degrees and negative 45 degrees. And we have to find... Um, the direction and magnitude of the resultant force. In other words, we're going to add these two vectors together. And so basically, we're going to do force 1 and force 2. So force 1 is simply uh, 40 times sine of 30 degrees I plus cosine of 30 degrees J. I flipped this, but that's okay. We can still get it. Um, it's not okay because it should be... The cosine always has to go with the I. And the sine always has to go with the J. Because sine is your vertical and cosine is your horizontal. So we're going to get 40 times um, square root of 3 halves I plus uh, 1 half J which equals um, 20 square root of 3i plus 20j. So that's force 1. Force 2 equals 60 times cosine of negative 45i. That's degrees. Let me scoot this over. Sorry, I'm going to go fast. Now let's take a long time. Okay, so force 2 is um, 60 
times cosine of negative 45 degrees I plus sine of negative 45 degrees J. And we're going to get um, 60 um, times uh, root 2 over 2I minus um, square root of 2 over 2J, which equals um, 30 root 2I minus 30 root 2J. Now, when you add force 1 and force 2, Remember, we're going to add the I's together and the J's together. So basically what I'm going to do here, to save space on here, because I already have a word problem on the next page. So force 1, we had the I component is that. So basically what I'm going to do is just write it as 20 plus root 3, then plus 30 root 2, and then I'll put the I on the outside. And then we're going to have plus um, 20 minus 30 square root of 2 J. Put the J there. It made my iPad move. Okay, so basically I just combine my I's. I put the I on the outside here and I combined my J's. And I put the J on the outside here and the I here. All right, we have one similar one, uh, the same kind of thing. So I drew a picture for you and we have to find the direction and magnitude of the resultant force. So basically we're adding the two forces. So we have to find the first force and the second force. And we have um, force 1 equals 30 times cosine. I always want to write sine first. Cosine of 45 I um, plus sine of 45 degrees J. And then that equals 30 times the square root of 2 over 2i plus the square root of 2j, which equals 15 root 2i plus 15 root 2j. So that's force 1. Force 2 is very similar. Um, force 2 would be 120. Not 120, but what is that? It's going to be 70. So 70 times cosine of 120 degrees I plus sine of 120 degrees J. And when you work this out, we're going to get 70 times negative 1 half I plus 70 times um, uh, root 3 over 2, it's a 3j. And that's going to give you negative 35i plus 35 root 3j. Now I'm going to do like I did in the previous video when I add these. I'm going to add force 1 plus force 2. I'm going to add my I's together. And then put the I on, whoops, put the I on the outside. So that's going to be 15 root 2 minus 35 put the I and then plus I'm going to add my J's. So there's my J's. Plus, I'll move it. I had a phone call come in, so I don't know where this all went, but this is this would be your J part here. 
I can't put it on there because I'm too close to the, but this is your J right there. So we're just adding the J's and the I's. Okay, the next video we're going to do is on um, static equilibrium, which involves force. We're going to have force 1, force 2, and force 3, and that's going to be the next video, and they're going to be word problems, about three of them, three or four.